up, Optimization Nation? How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's losing weight and feeling great. So in today's video, I'm going to go over why you should really watch out for at least 90 to 95% of most fitness coaches and influencers on Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok for this one very reason that literally nobody is talking about. So stick around to the end of this video because I'm gonna reveal that to you and show you why you should be listening to real raw advice that comes from somebody that actually references randomized controlled studies and controlled research. So this one thing that many people do not talk about with fitness coaches and influencers is that they do not know what they're talking about, right? I know that sounds very simple, but they're unqualified and most of them are moronic, right? And most of them are, you know, coming from a good place. They have good intentions, but Let's be honest, um, the majority of these coaches and influencers really just sat at a desk, this just like this one, and went to go get a credential from ACE or NASM or whatever it may be, just sat behind their computer and just answered multiple choice questions for about a six to eight months or so, and then got um, a, a NASM or ACE um, CPT certification, certified personal trainer, or even a certified nutrition coach. And to be quite honest with you, after being somebody that has not only received a certified personal trainer credential, certified nutrition coach credential, and soon to be a corrective exercise specialist, it really is not that big of a deal. And it's actually quite easy to get those credentials if you just do the work and you study and you're able to memorize some um, BS. Um, so anyway, you are going to be getting people like that training you that just answered multiple choice questions and they're just throwing together whatever um, they have at their disposal. And a lot of these people don't really have experience. And when I say people, I say kids. A lot of personal trainers are extremely young and unqualified for that reason. They don't really have that much experience. And that's one of the reasons why um, personal trainers and nutrition coaches and things like that will advocate for you to count macros, count calories, restrict calories, weigh your food, and do things that are very time consuming, right? Because kids seem to have a little bit more time on their hands. An 18 to, you know, let's say 20 to 22 year old would have more time on their hands in comparison to somebody like you who may be in their 30s, 40s, and 50s, works a full-time job, may own a business, and also has a family to take care of. I'm pretty sure you don't wanna go home and get the weight scale out and weigh your food and then count your macros and your calories and then check the scale a few hours later and just see the same old number that you've been seeing for weeks and weeks, probably because you're not addressing the root cause of the problem, which is insulin, right? If you wanna actually address that problem, I'll go ahead and link that video below where I actually break down insulin and why it is so important. And that's one of the reasons why many of these coaches and influencers will appear to be you know, very muscular, very big, because one, they have a whole lot of time on their hands, and two, they're extremely young, they have a very high metabolic rate, so you can get away with some of the bullshit um, that really doesn't work um, for somebody that has a slower metabolism, doesn't have as much time, and just is not in the same position as this 20-year-old or 18-year-old certified personal trainer. So I don't wanna to bash too much on credentials either. There is value there in those credentials and it does show some level of credibility. But to be quite honest with you, the real credibility comes from what you do after you get those certifications. Are you actively studying um, anatomy and physiology? Are you actively studying the human body, the human movement system, and the hormonal implications of what you're eating whenever you consume you know, any piece of food, right? You know, those are things that most people do not do either whenever they get their credential as a personal trainer, nutrition coach, or whatever it may be. They usually just get it and they feel like, all right, I've made it, now I can just start training, right? And usually they either get, they run into a rude awakening or they have a nice body and they have some good marketing going on so they're able to get a few clients, but then those clients are not so happy with the results that um, they received um, maybe even in the long term after they did their bullshit caloric deficit that only led to some short term results just to gain all the way back on in less than a month once they stopped. So once again, these people um, have good intentions, these fitness influencers and coaches, some don't, right? I would say that most of them do have good intentions but they just don't understand um, anatomy, physiology, science in general, and really how to apply scientific research and the knowledge of real raw anatomy and how the human movement system works, how 
hormonal reactions actually go down inside the human body relative to what you eat on a daily basis. They don't know how to even gather that information and formulate a plan that actually works for their clients. So if somebody has been taught by, let's say, ACE to count and restrict calories for anyone that wants to lose weight, then all of a sudden they run into things like insulin and ghrelin and leptin, cortisol, um, testosterone, androgens, and all these different physiological you know, factors that are very, very important for adding more muscle mass to your body and losing more weight, that's going to take some time to study. It's, you're definitely going to have to sit down and do some hard work, roll up your sleeves, and really put in some, some tough work for yourself if you want to do some learning. And to be quite honest with you, um, most coaches and influencers today aren't really willing to put in the work for themselves and quite honestly don't end up putting in the same work for their clients and then the results end up speaking for themselves whenever, whenever they end up getting some short-term weight loss that therefore leads to them gaining all the weight back on like it would happen with a caloric deficit or just little to no results at all with a pissed off client that does not feel like going home from a hard day of work or working on their business with their family and they have to get their weight scale out, they have to get their macro calculator out and then type in the number of calories. If you're sick and tired of doing that, feel free to click the link in the description to follow me on Instagram at It's Bobby O'Brien. You should see a little hyperlink there that says It's Bobby O'Brien. That's my Instagram and you can follow me there and message me if you have any questions about how you can apply a hormonal-based approach into your lifestyle without counting or restricting calories, without counting macros, without having to weigh your food or do any of the unnecessary bullshit that does not lead to sustainable long-term results. Or if you want to get started right away so I can fully customize a plan for you that addresses the root cause of the problem right away, which is insulin, feel free to book that one-on-one -on -one call with me so we can fully customize a plan for you today. Once again, the link to book a call is also in the video description. So I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video. And until then, have a great week.